Hi, this is Dr. David Klein from the Stages of Life Medical Institute in Longwood, Florida. So what we're going to talk about right now is free medicine, okay, free testing. Is it really free? Okay, now, it doesn't work, apparently, so well when you need it the most. And that is the lesson that we've learned from Italy, Spain, to some extent, the United Kingdom. These areas were clobbered with this virus, okay, and yet their systems failed. They failed miserably. Their death rate is multiples of what ours is, and yet you know, they, they persist with this uh, fiction that socialized medicine is a good thing. All right. So when was the first time? When was the first time the government was able to provide something to you better than the private sector could? Okay? They can't even do prisons well. They'll privatize them. All right? The VA is a grand example of socialized medicine. I was a VA doc for 4 years. I was a military doc for 12 and I can tell you, okay, that socialized medicine isn't really the way to go. You're going to get one tenth the productivity out of somebody working under those circumstances than you do in the private sector. And we see this over and over and over again. The lesson in Italy, the lesson in in, in Spain, is it doesn't work so well for the elderly, now does it? These people, okay, were left to die. They didn't receive the medications or the treatment that the younger folks did. So they triaged it. Well, if you're on, you know, your your pension, pensioners, okay, you're at the end of the line. So grandma, grandpa, that includes me. What does that mean? It means that you might not get treated very well. In this country, okay, the elderly get treated extraordinarily well. Big difference between what we have and what the burn wants, okay? So look around, okay? Use your eyes and ears. See what needs to be seen. Now, so what we're going to do is is that when you consider the government intervention, it leads to disaster. The way we handled this epidemic was done skillfully, surprisingly so, you know, as it turns out. Okay, I, you know, I've seen enough of these sorts of things happen to have expected the worst out of it, but surprised at how well it worked. So if the government were left to provide your health care, what could you expect? Inadequate supplies. That was clear not just in Europe, but also here. They did not have the stuff that they needed to handle an epidemic. Now, what does a mask cost? Think about that for a second. At 50 cents, if you're buying like the government does, is about 35 cents or less. They're cheap. But they couldn't, didn't, and wouldn't have them enough to go around. So here, we, we had to make our own. So it took us a long time to actually get any protective equipment. Gloves, also about 40 cents a pair. Very, very inexpensive. Couldn't get them. Paper gowns. We are not talking wedding gowns here. We are talking about pieces of paper that are cut out and sewn together. And they cost about $4, okay? If you buy them in volume, it's gonna be even less than that. They couldn't get us the simple stuff, and it wasn't the ventilators that was the problem. It was the personal protective equipment, something that every epidemic needs a ton of, many tons, hundreds of tons of these things. They couldn't do it. Inadequate staffing, try call, just do this for grins. Wait until 4.10 in the afternoon and call the state health department, okay? Nobody answers the phone because they leave at four o'clock promptly. They are there at 0800 and not a minute before. So when you're looking for government employees, except for the selfless individuals that handle the, the VA, okay, I was one of those people, I can promise you that you're not being very productive there either, they're gone. So you're not going to get things in terms of staffing. It's always overstaffed and underproductive in, 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 in general terms of the government. Politics then enters into it. Look at what's going on right now. Okay, well, we're going to force this person to manufacture and we've got to kiss this other person's rear end and so on. Just going around and around just to get them to do what they're supposed to do. Politics enters into it. We don't want to make this guy look too good. We don't want to make that one look too bad. Why? Because in politics, it evens everything out. We can't make somebody look too bad and we certainly can't make them look good. Then comes the last piece of it. Let's look at China. Okay, now there's a great example of socialized everything. The state owns it all. And you, okay, if you have a house, if you have an apartment, if you have a car, it's by the graces of the government. If you say the wrong thing, you disappear, somebody else gets your car. The the Soviets worked out the details of this for many, many years. The Chinese have perfected it. But what they've done best of all, best of all, something that the Soviets were also very, very accomplished at, and that's lying. Okay, 
So they brought us this particular virus. Okay, can't you know just just for for grins for fun? So they gave us this gift that keeps on giving, and yet oh, they're over it already. And we know from our eyes, we know from what we look around and see, that the virus hasn't gone. It is still there. We're worrying about going back to work, and they're throwing people back into the fire because, after all, you know, there's another two and a half billion uh, that they can go through, you know, one at a time, to, you know, just to make sure that we get enough cheap goods to keep Walmart in business. So, what do I think? We need to be careful about the lies that we're going to see, and it's not just the Chinese, and it's not just, um, you know, you know, the Russians. Okay, not at all. But we have our own lies here. Okay, and you'll see plenty of them. The, the you know, politics that are played, okay, the fake news. There's plenty of it. On, on, it's always been this way. Fake news is marvelous. That's what editorial boards are all about. It's called spin, okay? Unfortunately, the regular reporters are now, you know, aspiring to become young editors, and they're starting to do it and making the news instead of reporting it. So be very, very careful. Use your eyes. Look around. Look for the body bags. Look for the refrigerated trucks. Look for the cremation urns. That'll give you what the real count's all about. Look at the new jobs that are coming up. Oh, we have a position open. Yeah, who was in there before? So be very, very careful. Free medicine isn't free, and it's not even very good. Free testing, yeah, if you don't mind waiting a few weeks, you know, you'll save a few dollars. Stand online for a few hours. It's all marvelous because your time is not of any value whatsoever. Is it free? The answer is negatory, Batman. This is Dr. David Klein, Stages of Life Medical Institute, expressing my frustrations. Be well.